The salvation of the righteous comes from the Lord. He is their refuge in times of trouble. And friends, there is trouble. Outside these walls, they are trying to tear you down, make you doubt your faith. They want you to be woke. Ha! Satan's whispers. They want you to deconstruct. God has already constructed, and it's infallible. They want you to indoctrinate your children with these false gospels of self-love. Make no mistake, the servants of the enemy are working to shake your foundation. <laughs> American scene, lost in the cover of a magazine. Bible built baby, wanna be a queen. Lord Mama tried to keep a little boy clean. Ooh! Yes, yes! It's a crazy world, it's a clown world, it's getting to be dark out there. Welcome back to the Cross Reference. I'm Joe Shrew, and I've got the day off. So, I may come at you with a few short videos today, God willing. Um, there's a lot of things in my heart. And as I was doing show prep today, uh, a text message, my phone rang. Or, or, I got a phone notification. Got a text message. And um, th 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 this came across my, uh, th th this popped up on my, on my phone. Now, that is Flamey Grant. Yes, yes, you heard it. Flamey Grant, not Amy Grant, Flamey Grant. <laughs> How clever, right? Um, Flamey Grant, who is Flamey Grant? I mean, come on, a shame slaying, hip swaying, sing song, singing song writing queen. The comedy queen with the blistering voice, Flamey Grant, is a gospel and roots musician from the Bible Belt who will move you, soothe you, help you heal some trauma, and always leave you laughing now um you heard in the beginning of that video uh most of the things that 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 pastor um on that on that music video was saying was absolutely true it, it, every bit of it even though it's used in a mocking manner um by this flamey grant character to do their music video right and you see uh flamey grant comes in and pushes pushes the the pastor in his seat like sit down shut up let, let, let me uh let me take over and he but the pastor did say something to the effect they want you to deconstruct but god well, uh, that that which god has already constructed what is deconstruction deconstruction is um let's see i looked it up just for our own um our own educational purposes faith deconstruction also known as deconstructing faith Evangel evangelical deconstruction, the deconstruction movement, or simply deconstruction, is a phenomenon within American evangelism where Christians rethink their faith and jettison previously held beliefs, sometimes to the point of no longer identifying as Christians. And we're starting to see this really, um, you know, I heard of this term just about a month ago. Uh, Pastor John MacArthur had a, um, had a sermon that he preached about a month ago at Grace Community Church called Christian Deconstruction. And I'm like, what? Well, if you go over to Twitter, uh, well, X, formerly known as Twitter, it has since been renamed to renamed to X. Um, and I, I just simply searched Deconstructed Christianity. And you got tons of posts, the amount of people with, quote, Christian in their profile giving me a hard time for helping out a homeless man yesterday is life-giving, y'all. I'm so glad I deconstructed to sin more instead of doing it to get away from that toxicity. Um, let's see, no words to express how badly pastors and ministry leaders, certainly not all, hate the fact, hate the, fact the playbook they've been using to maintain power over God's people is now being publicly deconstructed. Um, if you're a Christian who is deconstructing or deconstructed, where do you stand now? There is no such thing as deconstructed Christian. It really doesn't exist. Uh, there was a really good one on here a minute ago, but it, it, it updated. It, it, it seems, I mean, 
I can't find it now. Um, I.e., as, as I'm fond of saying, progressive Christianity can and must be deconstructed as much as conservative evangelicalism if we're trying to follow Jesus, whatever that means. Um, there was one here with uh, Shane Pruitt. <clears throat> it was great. Where is it? Where is it here? Here it is. Uh, louder for the deconstructed Christians in the back. If you're a former Christian, you never were a Christian. If you can't earn salvation, you can't unearn it either. Shane Pruitt. That's interesting because um, the Bible says, uh, you know, people who leave the faith. The Bible says that do not be do not be discouraged by those who no longer walk with us. You know that if, if they were of us, they would have stayed with us, but they left the faith so that it could make, be made known that they were never of us. They were never with us. See, you you often hear um, you often hear that cliche that uh, salvation is forever. That that one uh, once saved, always saved is what they say, and that's absolutely true. That's absolutely true. Not to the um, not to the degree that if uh, you walked away from the faith or deconstructed, that you're still saved. That's not what that means. That means once salvation is actually real, the Bible, God promises, God will bring that salvation to glory. You know, and, and if you walked away from that, you were only fooling yourself to begin with. You never really were saved. So it, while it's true, once saved, always saved, there's tons of false salvations out there. Now, now I'm, I'm going off in the weeds here on, on deconstructed Christianity and, and people who walk away from the faith. But this Flamey Grant character, and I'm going to keep this short because um, I was doing show prep. And I got to get back to show prep, but I could not leave this one. I could not just just ignore this because, oh my goodness, when it, when I got that text message, I was like, "What?" So, anyways, this Flamey Grant character. Okay, this is iTunes top forty U.S. Christian and gospel songs, and this was updated one hour and one minute ago. This is current, number four on the list of top forty U.S. Christian and gospel songs. Flamey Grant, Good Day, featuring Derek Webb. Now, okay, I want to say one thing. Christians, just because, and yes, this is discouraging. This is discouraging to see this on, on a list of uh, top 40 Christian songs with, with such great artists as, as, such as Phil Wickham and Brandon, Brandon Lake and Maverick City Music. Um, you got Chris Tomlin. For crying out loud, Chris Tomlin is, is, is under Flamey Grant. And by the way, I can't get over Flamey Grant. You know, a playoff of Amy Grant, the great Christian songwriter. Flamey Grant. Oh, my goodness. Chris Tomlin's underneath Flamey Grant. Okay, Christians, look, do not get discouraged by this. Just because somebody, I'm going to bring this full circle. Just because somebody claims to be a Christian or claims that that this is Christian music, and just because our industries are giving into this and saying, yeah, this is Christian music and, and putting it uh, among such great names as Chris Tomlin, Brandon Lake, Phil Wickham, just because they're doing that, don't, yes, it's upsetting, but, but you know and I know that's not Christian, that's totally antithetical to scripture, that's, it, it's, it's blasphemy. It is blasphemy to, to, to do music videos such as this, such as this right here. She found him with her high heels on a two foot train of green chiffon. That messy lip was overdrawn. It was shocking and obscene. This is this is this is awful. This is blasphemy, and they know what they're doing. Okay. Now, don't let it yes it's upsetting don't let it get to you to work to the point to where you check out like i said it's one thing to be to, to you just because you say you're a christian doesn't mean you're a christian just because they say this is christian uh that this is christian music doesn't mean it's christian music we know the truth you know you know the truth i know the truth god knows the truth 
But we are living in a time where st stuff like this is going to... <sighs> Unfortunately, the lines are getting blurred. And, and, and the spiritual warfare is on the rise. And, and, and we, we, we have got to take up our full, full armor of God. We've got to put it all on in these times. And it, and it is what it is. We gotta be. We gotta be uh, discerning, and we gotta. We gotta keep fighting and keep spreading the word. And as Christian deconstruction continues to be on the rise, just remember that um, John said. John said that, you know, don't be discouraged by those who who left from among us because it they left from among us so that it may be known that they were never of us. There's many false salvations out there of people who thought they were saved, but they come to find out when they deconstruct or they renounce their faith, they were never saved to begin with. And the more that goes on the rise, the more we're going to see this, uh, this, this, this new Christian music rise to the top with names like Chris Tomlin, Phil Wickham, Brandon Lake, and on and on. So don't be discouraged. Put your armor on. Keep fighting. Stay tuned, and um, like I said, I'm off. Hopefully, I can get a few more, a couple more videos of things that have been on my heart to, uh, over the last week or two. And don't forget to do all the cool things. Subscribe, hit that notification bell, so that if more videos come out today, you're there, you see them. And uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it if you feel led to do so. And um, like I said, I'll see you soon, guys. Keep your uh, keep your eyes peeled, keep your feeds open, and uh, remember, whether you eat or drink, do it all to the glory of God. See you guys in a little bit.